Phew guys, it is September, and that means that fall will soon be upon those of us in the Northern Hemisphere. And that means that winter is coming. Winter is coming, and it's coming for you and your plants. And I don't know about you, but here in Lille, in the north of France, winter is dreary. Last winter, I was wholly unprepared for that. I really had no idea how little light I would be getting in my home during that winter. And I lost a lot of plants. The rate at which I was losing plants, it was unsatisfactory. I'm a person who doesn't really like the typical way that like grow lights look. So I found a different solution. A Soltech solution. Today I am unboxing a very special gift, which was sent to me by Soltech Solutions. I would like to note that this is a sponsored video, but I have chosen to collaborate with Soltech Solutions because I've read amazing reviews of their products, it seems like they're doing a real fine job at what they've got going on, and it also seems to be the preferred lighting option by horticultural and interior design experts. I will still be giving my honest opinion on the unboxing and installation process, how easy it is, how difficult it is, and uh, you know, months down the line, I will certainly keep you updated on the performance of this product in my home, on my plants. Soltech Solutions is a company that produces luxury plant lighting. They design lights that don't give off that like grow light vibe, <laughs> you know what I mean? Their focus is on creating lights that are of course meant for plants, but look more elegant and add kind of a touch of style to your home, which is something that I find very appealing. You know, they have kind of a sophisticated pendant light system, or in this case, a track light system, which looks more like something that you would naturally install in your home for ambient lighting, rather than looking like something that's like, you know, the tail light that fell off of a UFO. If you've researched plant grow light solutions in the past, or if you've been hanging out in the plant community of Instagram or YouTube, I'm positive that you've seen the name Soltech Solutions pop up, or that you've probably seen other plant fluencers show off their aspect lights. Aspect is the main product of Soltech Solutions. It's like a, an elegant pendant light that you can hang over small to medium sized plants. It's kind of like a sexy spotlight over, you know, your favorite plant in your home that you're just trying to keep alive all winter. It suits most interior settings. It fits in with most interior design decor. But I wanted to take things a little, a little further because, you know, it's kind of in my nature to do so. The aspect pendant light is perfect for small to medium plants that you want to highlight or that you want to give supplemental light. What I have here is the Highland track light system, which is a bigger system that you can install in the ceiling or you know high up on the wall in order to shine it down on a green wall, for example, or to put it on larger plants like fiddle leaf fig trees or Norfolk pines or what have you. Any kind of plant that is larger and requires light kind of all around from different directions. So what I have here is the Highland track light system in the color white. It comes in white and black at this time. I chose white because most of the furniture in my home is white, like my plant shelves are white, my ceiling is white. It just seemed like it would be a peculiar choice to choose black for me personally. So what you have with the Highland track light system is a four foot white track. Then the package comes with two mounting brackets so that you can actually, you know, mount this into the ceiling or wall. And you have the option of choosing to actually install this in the internal lighting system within your home through the, you know, the lighting junction box, or you can opt for the electrical outlet plug, which is 20 feet long. And that's what I opted for because I ain't no electrical genius over here and I ain't hiring no electrician. The, the models that come with an actual US electrical plug rather than a European electrical plug come as well with a wall timer so that you can set your light to you know, turn on and off at certain times. The European version doesn't come with that, but of course there's an easy fix to that. I'm just going to use, I purchased my own electronic timer so that I can make sure that the light turns on and off at certain hours and run it for you know 14 hours a day or whatever I choose to do. And mine has come with three lamps. It's quite nice, it's quite, it's very simple, which I, I really like. The lights are 30 watt LEDs, which is the equivalent to a 200 watt incandescent bulb. And the temperature is 3000 Kelvin. So these lights won't cast any kind of uncomfortable bluish hue, but they still provide the plants with the lighting supplement that they need. They have a color rendering index value of 97. The color rendering index value is the ability of a light source to faithfully reveal the true colors of an object, like a painting or a plant, 
in comparison to a natural light source. Soltec Solutions lights have the highest CRI of any other plant light producer on the market right now, which is why their lights just tend to be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. You know, they don't feel like grow lights in your home because they allow for the colors of objects in your home to still remain quite faithful to their true color. And one more thing, they have a lifespan of about 50,000 hours or 10 years if you are running them on a daily basis for 14 hours a day. So the lights come with two different beam reflector angles that you can choose. You have the, the narrow 30 degree beam reflector, which is recommended if you're lighting your plants from kind of a distance or if you need it for a plant that requires copious amounts of light, like a, a really high light plant. Then you have the 60 degree beam reflector, which is recommended for larger spaces or for plants that don't require really high amounts of light. And since I'm installing it up here on the ceiling just behind me and I'm using it on my staghorn ferns, they're a plant that doesn't require extremely high amounts of light. They just need moderate light. And I also thought that this would be a nice place to put it because it's kind of a nice way to create ambient lighting in my home, just above the sofa, and it's also my YouTube backdrop, so I thought, it's a nice twofer. I can give my staghorn ferns a nice amount of light during the winter, since they suffered so much last winter, and then I'll have a nice backdrop behind me with these lights shining down. And the ferns are not very far from the ceiling, so I'm not lighting them from a great distance. And one nice thing is that on the website and in the manual here that they, they send you with the box, they do give a very long list of different plant types, which includes staghorn ferns among many other plants, and they tell you which beam angle would be best for that type of plant, and they tell you what distance would be appropriate for that type of plant. So that's super helpful as well. That's all the information that I have to share about the Highland tracking system. Like I said, it comes with the lights, it comes with the track, it comes with some anchors, and you know, like mine comes with the, the cord, the plug. Well, I got everything I need here, including all the information that I require. Now, before I go into like full on Betsy the Builder mode, I just wanna say that the link in the description of this video will take you to the Soltech Solutions website and you will get 15% off of your purchase on the Soltech Solutions site. That includes the aspect pendant light, not just the Highland track light system. So if you decide that you want to have, you know, an elegant, sexy lighting system for your plants in your home, follow that link in my description and you will get 15% off. Or you can use the discount code Betsy15 on their site and that will give you 15% off. You're welcome. This is where you gotta go when you forgot to buy clear protective eye goggles and you're drilling into a ceiling. Stupid. Hey, do you have to chase a fly right now? That's a little bit distracting and, and, and disconcerting. my experience with the high that's wow that's that's bright man that's that looks bright i look like some kind of extra terrestrial beam that is like coming towards you down a ramp off of a ufo weren't we trying to uh, avoid ufos oh uh, hang on that's a little bit better that's a little, <laughs> whew, whew.
That's a little bit more YouTube friendly. Now I look more like an angel rather than some kind of extraterrestrial being. I would like to note that they don't look that blindingly bright in real life. It's just my camera set up here. Looks nice, very happy. Overall, I found the installation process pretty easy. It's, you know, there are not a lot of moving parts here. It's pretty simple and straightforward. You take measurements to put where your track goes. You install the track install the electrical cord in my case, and then you slide the lights in. The, the lights pop in, they pop out. It's very simple, very straightforward. There was one point during the installation process when I got a little confused because of the vocabulary in the manual. Sometimes they change up terminology for anatomy of the product itself. For example, on the lamp, you have this little hatch that you can unscrew and open, and that will show you the innards of the lamp. And at the beginning of the manual, they refer to it as the power supply cover. And that makes sense to me. It is the cover to the, you know, the power supply within the lamp. But then later on, when you're reading the instructions and they're telling you which way to aim the lamp on the track system, they start referring to it as an access door. And when you have no context, for what an access door is, I would naturally call that a power supply cover. So that can be a little confusing. You're like knee deep in the installation process. You're trying to figure out which way the lamp goes on your track light system. And then they throw out a word like access door and you're like, what is an access door? I was able to figure it out, obviously. I have a beautiful lighting set up here. And if an idiot like me can figure it out, then an idiot like anyone can figure it out. And I think that that could easily be fixed just by simply providing a diagram of the lamp at the beginning of the manual with little lines pointing to each aspect of the anatomy of the lamp and saying this is the access door this is the bulb this is the track you know this is the switch that latches the lamp into the track you know if they had provided some kind of diagram like that then I wouldn't have spent 10 minutes of my life going what is an access door with a diagram that could be fixed in a second, because then I could just flip back, look at the diagram and go, oh yeah, that thing, yeah, yeah, okay, right, right, right. Anyway, I'm overall very happy with the result. I'm really pleased. I love the way that it looks. I love the color temperature of the lights. I love how it creates this very dramatic backdrop in my living room, and the staghorn ferns are especially cooler, like with the dramatic shadows that it creates, like, I just think it looks fantastic, man. And it actually creates a really nice ambient light in my living room. I'm very pleased with the, the result. I'm really happy with this. Let me know, what do you think about this setup? What do you think about Soltec Solutions lights? Have you heard about them? Do you have your own? What is your experience? And you know, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think, guys? What do you think? I would like to thank Soltech Solutions one more time for sponsoring me and collaborating with me to make this video, for sending me this awesome lighting setup. And just to remind you, if you follow the link in my bio, that will take you to the Soltech Solutions website where you will get 15% off of your purchase, or you can use the code BETSY15, and that will also give you 15% off of your purchase. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I also hope that you have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. I'd like to thank my $10 patrons, Ashley Stevens, Nell, Charlie, Jamie, Morrow, Joanne, Burke, Anthony, Ranking, Frederick, Bowman, Rebecca, Reppert, Emily, Carolyn, Green, and Jay Kennedy. My $7 patron, Palm Fissy. My $5 patron, Jessica Forbes, Darcy, Levitch, Casey, Smyrniotopoulos, Tisha McCann, Michelle Sadlowski, Cassandra Carr, James Cott, Lumis, Noted It All, Dieter Daly, Billy Moore, Michelle Arnwine, Maggie, Jerry Parker, Abby Clark, Kathy L, Leah A, Miranda Moyer, Fenner Lamb, Haley, Tanya DeBacon, Romina Race, Chai Guy, Giselle Dow, Adam Bams, oh, Elizabeth Murray, Shannon, $2 patrons, Karen, Georgia, Thomas, Abigail, Colin, Renee, Alan, Hannah, Guthala, Steve, A, and Pamela. And my $1 patrons, Alyssa, N, Amanda, Panda, Ashley, Eagle, Lydia, Gracie, Catlin, Phillips, Stephanie, Proven, Michelle, A, Lita, Anastasia, Cassandra, Lewis, Michelle, Michaels, Jenny, Seth, and Charlotte, Dawson, Sophia, Jacob, Garibay, Isabel, Lengua, Elizabeth, Alasquez, Kara, Freeman, Wanyan, Zang, Josie, Michael, Minor, Jordan, Jepson, Kayla, Davenport, Lisa, Nicholas, Curtis, Lexi, Haynes, Lisa, Matiara, Melissa, Monster, Sophia, Clark, Jesse, Linda, Thea, Kristen, Yoro, Claire, Buff, Meg, Aria, Putana, Claire, Lynn, Elizabeth, Mary, Denise, Grim, and Valhalla Fiasco. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.